Hey, what's up guys? Happy Tuesday. It is February 9th. Um, the assignment today is how wolves change rivers. I just wanted to kind of go over that really quick because this really is, um, I said in the assignment, it's one of my favorite videos. Um, it really is one of these, these concepts that just kind of um, makes you think about nature, right? It kind of just shows you how the impact one species can have on an entire ecosystem. So in that video, they talk about how um, wolves were missing from Yellowstone for um, roughly 70 or so years. Okay, and that's a that's a lot of time. If you imagine in the lifespan of a deer, um, you know, like maybe 10 years, we're talking like seven generation of deer that were um, living without um, being hunted by a predator, right? Obviously there were still bears, there were still coyotes, but um, wolves are a major predator of the area and they didn't have that anymore. So um, these wolves were run out for whatever reason, right? Um, much of which is, is human caused. Um, there are cattle um, in that area. Um, there are a lot of like free range ranches and stuff and people invest a lot of money in their cattle and they, they want to keep them safe. So unfortunately wolves were kind of pushed out of that area and um, over, you know, change to laws and different viewings of wolves and people wanting to see these majestic animals and whatnot. I would put some protections in place and um, over the years wolves start returning to Yellowstone, right? And while the wolves were gone, the deer could just kind of hang out wherever they wanted. And one of the most immediate impacts of the wolves coming back was sure, yeah, they ate some of the deer, right? They do eat the deer, but more so they changed how the deer behaved within the park. If the deer never had to worry about the wolves chasing them, they would go wherever they wanted. They would eat the grass wherever they wanted. Um, so now that these wolves were here, these deer kind of had to stay um, more secluded. They couldn't just hang out in valleys, right? They couldn't just be in this big open field because a wolf's going to chase them down and eat them. So what happened was the deer started avoiding these valleys and these gorges. And what happened was all the grass that the deer had just completely devoured in those areas starts to grow back and it starts to regenerate. And what that does is it causes some of the riverbanks to build back up their strength, right? So a lot of those shrubs and those trees and those grasses really hold things in place. And we get a big rainstorm and when there wasn't any of that grass, the rain would just wash it out and you don't really have a river, it kind of just washes out, right? But we have these banks, we have these 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 growth, the water starts to go back into that natural meandering pattern and we started to get this to happen. Um, the trees that never had a chance to um, gain footing or grow because they were always around the grasses and getting eaten and whatnot, a lot of these trees and big shrubs all just over the course of a few years completely changed. They all grew so much because now all of a sudden they weren't getting trampled, they weren't getting eaten, they were able to grow. And now what lives in trees? Well, birds that hadn't been seen in the park in years started returning to the park because now on their migration patterns, they had places to nest, they had places to live, things to eat, right? So these wolves coming back to the area not only changed, you know, the landscape where it physically changes the rivers and the grasses and the trees, but it changes behaviors of animals and it brought other animals back into the area like these birds. Okay, so while you're watching that video, kind of think about what I'm saying here, because that kind of gives you a head start of what you're looking at, um, and really like appreciate that video. It's pretty wild to think that these predators that eat things can also be responsible for increasing the amount and the diversity of life that was in the area as well. All right, um, sweet, that's about four minutes. Get that video watched, get that assignment done. Get everything else caught up, and that's it. Peace out. Have a good day. See ya.